hi everyone so today we will talk about the automated asset transfer so this feature comes into place when you change the identity type of the user from adobe id to enterprise or federated id so in this case uh, the user need not to manually move their assets uh, from one id type to another so once you convert their id types uh, they will get an email and after that they will get an option to automate uh, asset transfer to the new id type so how this will work if we go to the admin console and look for the user uh, so this is the user where uh, we are going to test nikilgu at adobetest.com so this user already has uh, the all apps plan now uh, this feature will only work uh, when the user has the all apps plan if the user only has the acrobat plan it uh, will not work if we check the assets uh, this user has the cloud docs already available you can see uh, we i am logged in with the same user account and this user has Adobe XD, Adobe uh, Illustrator and uh, Photoshop Cloud Docs. And if you go to the library section, this user has uh, two test libraries and uh, this user already has uh, some synced files which are already synced on uh, the account. So now what will happen is once we do the automatic asset transfer, these all these assets will be transferred to the new ID type. Now how we can do that? Uh, we have to do this using the CSV method. Uh, available on the admin console so this uh, feature will only work once you change when you change the id type of the user from adobe id to enterprise or federated using the csv method so if we click on that the second option is the edit identity type of csv we can click on that now we can download the standard tm csv file and if we open that so there are two fields uh, one is from adobe id to enterprise and the adobe id to federated so right now we are just doing from adobe id to enterprise we can remove that field and now the id type right now is adobe id the email address is adobetest.com and the domain is adobetest.com let's copy the email address the new id type will be enterprise id the new email address will be the same the username will be the same and the country code will be us now we can uh, save this file and we can go back to the admin console and this time we have to click on select files and select this file so we can click on open and upload this file so now the file is uploaded and uh, this user should uh, migrate from adobe id to enterprise id so let's uh, refresh this page once now if, if we look for the user again so you can see the id type has been changed to enterprise id Alright, so once you change the ID type of the user, user will receive an email uh, wherein uh, there is a get started email and once he clicks on the get started option, we can uh, just create a password and I click on continue. So now you can see there's an option, yes, uh, whether I want to migrate my assets to my new account. So. If I click on now, then uh, the only option remain for me is to uh, move those assets manually. So if a user like sometimes click on now, there is no way back, uh, going back for the automatic asset migration. So I click on yes and it starts migrating all of my assets which were there with my uh, Adobe ID account. So uh, we can wait for, uh, it might will take some time depends upon, depending on the assets what you have. Uh, what the user has on the account so i don't have much of the assets so i click on continue now if i go to assets dot adobe dot com just to check like whether i have my assets with my new id type uh, you can see uh, all of my cloud files if i go to your libraries and i'll check for the sync files as well so you can see both of my libraries the test library and test library too and uh, the asset web files all right so these are all the files which i have uh, synced with my account so you can see uh, over here it is my new account uh, for the enterprise id so this is how uh, the automatic asset transfer works so hope uh, you like uh, the workflow and it will be helpful uh, for you if you want to migrate assets for any users thank you